Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So, in this lesson, uh, we are going to look into two kinds of uh, parameter passing techniques. Uh, one is call by reference and uh, call by value. So, let me launch the IDE first. So, already I have created a project under the name uh, function file, which contains a C file here. Okay. So, uh, call by value and call by reference are uh, two kinds of uh, uh, parameter passing techniques. So, we will look into each of them uh, individually. So, first we will study about uh, what is call by value and then followed by call by reference. Okay. So, to demonstrate uh, how this mechanism works, let us define a function uh, which performs the task of uh, swapping two variables. Okay. So, let us take two variables here, int a and int b. Okay. The swapping of two variables, uh, uh, which literally means that um, exchanging of values between uh, A and B. Okay, so after uh, the sole purpose of swap function would be uh, such that um, the value of A should be 20 and B should be 10. Okay, interchanging the values of both of these variables. So let us name the function of function as swap here. Okay, swap A comma B. Uh, so we have to define the function. Uh, as we are returning uh, nothing, let us take return type as y here and swap int a comma int b. Uh, the definition of the function goes like this. So here we have to take uh, a temporary variable uh, which acts as a mediator between the, these two variables a and b to interchange uh, their values. Okay. So first, the value of temp will be a and the value of a will be uh, the value of a will be b and then the value of uh, b will be temp okay so in this way uh, the swapping works here so here uh, in the main you can have a message uh, to show uh, such that we are using a to show that we are using call by value here uh, let us have a small message here using call by value. Okay, so using call by value, so you can say something like this: uh, printf slash n slash t. So before swapping, so before swapping, you can check the values how they are uh, uh, working here. So to check the values again you can have another printer statement uh, slash n slash t a is equal to percentage d comma b is equal to percentage d a comma b so, okay so again uh, so when you call the function uh, you can say something like this uh, printf uh, slash n slash t so after swapping so we have to check the result or what is happening to our variables uh, after doing this uh, uh, swapping function here okay so again uh, you can have uh, another printf statement which just displays the values of a and b okay b is equal to percentage d a comma b so what happens after uh, uh, swapping the variables okay so now if, uh, we have defined a function uh, to swap two variables here and just uh, we are calling the function here swap uh, a and b and just we are uh, printing the message before swapping and after swapping what happens to our variables so let us uh, fix the prototype which is always a good practice to have a prototype at the so if you save and run the program so a few uh, let us make it a bit uh, bigger so that you can see the output clearly so if you see the output here uh, you get the same output uh, before and after swapping okay so here the value of uh, a and b are 10 and 20 uh, when you passed it to a function here okay so the value of a and b are 10 and 20 uh, even though after you call the swap function here uh, we are making a, a change uh, inside the uh, function here to the variables such that we are interchanging the values uh, but even though you get uh, after returning uh, the function uh, the call to the main uh, calling area here again you have uh, the same values here okay 
So now the changing actually uh, so occurs inside the main. Okay. So if you uh, give a small printf statement here inside the main function, okay. So percentage d, or else you can say something like this inside uh, inside swap function to bit. Uh, to be a bit clear, a is equal to b and uh, a comma b here. Okay, so now if we save and run the program, stop debugging and uh, so if you observe uh, the output here, inside swap function, the values got interchanged uh, to 10 and 20 here. Okay, so but uh, when you call the function uh, to the calling area, so when you call the function. Uh, when, it, when the control uh, jumps back to the main here, uh, when the control jumps back to the main, the values, whatever uh, you are interchanging here, does not carry forward. Okay, so again, when you come back to the main, uh, so whatever the changes you make uh, to the variables uh, a and b inside this function uh, gets destroyed. Okay, so when it when the call uh, carries back to the uh, calling area here, the same values of a and b uh, gets uh, displayed. Okay. So that, that's what happening uh, uh, here in the so here in our uh, uh, output here. Okay. So again, if you see the output here, so inside swap function, your values are getting uh, interchanged to 10 and 20. So whenever uh, you come out of the function uh, in the main, so after swapping, you get just get the same values here. Okay. So in order to uh, overcome this uh, problem uh, when you are using so this kind of mechanism is called as a, uh, call by value here. Uh, since we are, we are calling it as call by value because we are just you are passing the values, okay, uh, plain values uh, into the uh, as parameters uh, from uh, even in the actual uh, parameters and the same in the following parameters, okay. To overcome this problem, so let us define another function here uh, and let us say it as let's have a small uh, printf message slash and slash thing using. Uh, call by okay so you can say something like this using call by reference and the same thing here also goes here call by value okay so in the call by uh, use when you are using call by reference so let us uh, define another function let's call it as swap 2 the small change here in the swap 2 is here uh, we are passing uh, the values okay so here we are uh, uh, passing the values, uh, so not the values, the actually the here we are uh, passing the address of the variable. So if you, if you see the calling area here, there is a small change. Instead of passing the values directly to the uh, function, we are defining another function and we are sending the address of A and B. Okay. So let us uh, define that function here. So let us have all these filter statements after swapping and before swapping to observe the exact difference of what is happening so after calling this function. So let us define the swap2 function here. Since we are not returning anything, let us have the definition as swap2. Okay. So here, uh, so when you are passing addresses to the uh, function definition, so always uh, if you recall the function's uh, pointers topic, okay. So there we have used uh, the pointer is a variable which holds the address of another variable. So that's the reason in this uh, swap2 definition, uh, we, uh, since we are passing the address from A and B variables, so we have used two pointer variables here. So if you use something like this, it will uh, run into error. Okay. So normal variables like A and B cannot hold the address of uh, uh, the other variable. Okay. So that's the reason we are uh, using pointers. So whatever, uh, now you can uh, replace the same code here. Because the code does not change, the only change here is just you need to uh, use the pointer variables instead of uh, using the ordinary variables. Okay, since we have taken uh, pointer variables to manipulate our uh, code here. Okay, so now uh, let us remove the statement. So now if you save and run the program here, uh, since we have taken, uh, let us put the prototype. So, which is always a good practice here. Copy. Okay. So, copy and uh, paste. Now, save, if you save and run the program here, 
So now, uh, if you observe uh, the output here, so it says uh, when you are using call by value, the values uh, when call from the definition does not change. Okay. So whatever the changes you make inside the definition of a function will not affect uh, when the control uh, is taken back to the main here. So that, that's the reason when you are using call by value. So if you see in the output here, you get the same uh, uh, variable uh, a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. So now when you are using call by reference, so as we did here, uh, we have taken another function here. So when you are using call by reference here, you just uh, get the values as interchanged here. Okay. So the value of a is now 20 and the value of b is now 10. Okay. So that's what uh, the sole purpose of uh, a swap function. Okay. So when you call a swap function using call by reference, so whatever the changes you make to the variables uh, inside the inside the function uh, definition will affect uh, even though the control is taken out of the function okay so uh, this happened because you are using uh, not the values but the addresses in which the values are stored okay so the the manipulation of the variables is done through the addresses uh, where they are stored okay so exact uh, values, uh, not just a copy. Okay. So when you use call by value, just a copy of uh, a variable A and B gets down here. And so that's the reason. Uh, so whatever the changes you make to the variables does not affect uh, when, it, when the control is taken back to the main program here. Okay. So that's the reason here. Uh, if you send, if you use uh, call by reference, uh, here we are manipulating uh, using the addresses. Okay, so that's the reason uh, when you are man when you are manipulating when you say that you are manipulating on the addresses, that means you are operating on the real data uh, stored in that memory location. So that's the reason uh, you get the exact uh, uh, swapped output here. So if you check the output, uh, so after uh, when you use call by reference, uh, after swapping uh, the functions, whatever the uh, uh, values we have changed inside the swap function gets affected and uh, the same values get printed or the interchanged values of, uh, which becomes now b a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 10 uh, gets printed here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, uh, various parameter parameter passing techniques in uh, c okay so to summarize we have taken two functions swap 1 and swap 2 one uses a uh, call by value which is nothing but sending the exact values uh, of the variables and another one is uh, call by reference okay so call by reference you can have a small comment here and here uh, you are just calling the, the by the value call by value so call by reference, you just send the pass the addresses. Uh, so since you are passing the addresses, you need to have pointer variables to hold those uh, addresses. And now the manipulation or the changes have, uh, were made through the pointer variables, which take effect even though the function call uh, returns to the uh, main bag. Okay. So, so see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.